Why? Why doesn't soldering to lithium polymer battery tabs just work? And why these specifically? Well, I'm gonna show you why. First of all, these tabs should not be soldered to. You should get nickel strips, a spot welder and weld them together. But who am I kidding? You don't have a spot welder. I don't have a spot welder. Do you know anybody who has one? Because I certainly don't. So let's just do the second best thing and make the batteries catch on fire. Um, I mean, uh, let's solder wires to them. Basically the same thing. The reason why you can't just solder to these tabs is because they are aluminium. The solution is using a proper flux. Any aluminium flux should do the work. Uh, there are actually a couple of links in the description of ones that people tried and worked, but others should work as well. Some people claim that zinc flux actually works too, but personally I haven't tried that. Uh, this is what I'm using, and sure enough, with the drop of this it works flawlessly. It is also recommended to get a special solder for soldering aluminium, which is 91% tin and 9% zinc, but honestly I didn't find it necessary. I'm just using a regular one and it works perfectly. There are some other things to look out for as well. First of all, the heat, and this is actually the entire reason why you shouldn't solder these in the first place. You see, right here uh, is an adhesive that holds the battery together. Warming it up actually makes it soft and it could open the battery, which would cause the liquid electrolyte to leak. It's got electrolytes. Okay. Best case scenario, the battery is useless, and worst case scenario... So it might be a good idea to clamp it together, but really the best practice is to not heat it up at all. And here is how. Solder it as fast as possible. You will need a higher thermal mass for that, however. So crank up the temperature. I'm usually at 355C, but here I go at 380C. I know it's counterintuitive to increase the temperature in order to keep the battery cool, but with higher temperature we'll spend less time soldering, and overall it's net profit. To increase the thermal mass even more, use chisel style tip, and generally the bigger it is, the better. That's what she said! <laughs> I only have this one, so it will have to do. My last tip is to clean the surface properly beforehand with some alcohol. And that's pretty much it. With the proper flux it should work something like this. And it's not only useful for battery tabs, I have also used this multiple times on an aluminium tape. So let me know if it worked for you. And please consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos like this. You can also follow me on Twitter for more regular updates. And see you for now!